I have a desktop Mac. It works the same on a laptop. To do this, you have to go into an area of your computer that is usually not a very safe place to go for the average user. You really want to know what you're doing if you go into uh, anywhere above the users group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, New Finder Window. I'm going to locate a fonts folder that I already have downloaded from other sources. These are fonts I've downloaded from 1001 fonts or other sources. Uh, there are many sources of fonts out there. If you look in the upper right corner of your computer, you may or may not see this Macintosh hard drive. To be able to see it, if you don't have it, you have to go to Finder on the upper left to Finder Preferences on the menu bar. And then on Preferences, under General, make sure Hard Disks is checked on. By default, it's off. If you check Hard Disk On, you will see in the upper right corner now this hard drive icon here. This represents the entirety of your computer above and including your user area. If I were to double click on this, it opens up a finder window and you can see right here it says Macintosh hard drive. I'm in column view, my favorite view for this. Here is users. Everything you own on your computer and everything you have on your computer is shared right here in the users folder. All of this is your content. Anything above that is computer content that you generally don't want to get into get into. I'm going to actually go to the library right here and inside library I'm going to find the fonts folder and here's the fonts folder right here. So all of these are the fonts I already have on my system and I have quite a few above the standard font lists but to add more fonts all you need to do is take your font library that you downloaded or the fonts that you have downloaded and you can click on any number of these or all I'm going to do Command A, and it's going to highlight all of them. And then I have the option to just drag it right into my existing font library on my computer. It should tell me if I have copies. Right here it says, do I want to add, uh, skip this, stop this, or replace it? I'm going to click Reply to All. I'm going to skip, and it's only going to add the new fonts that have not been on my system before. If it was a new font that hasn't been there, it would just load, others would not. So now, you can see I did already load quite a few of these already. Just a few of the green ones are the new ones here. And that is how you add fonts to your computer. Once you close out all your windows, I prefer you go to Finder Preferences again and uncheck hard disks to avoid going into that other areas. As a word of warning, anything you do in libraries or systems folders or application folders above the user folder can cause damage to your computer if you don't know what you're doing. So that is how you add fonts to your Mac computer.